hello guys um this is part two of the video teaching how to add an admin a manager or another user to your facebook page i initially did the video and some people had issues locating some of the icons um as it appeared on my own device so on some other kind of pages because we have different kind of facebook pages you have pages for e-commerce you have pages for enterprise you have personality pages for celebrities and so on so some people had issues assess, assessing this the settings option so in this second guide i'm going to be showing you how you can access this option or in another fashion so what i will simply do is you see these three buttons by my by the top right hand side they are three horizontal lines they are called ham hamburger buttons I'm going to tap on them. I'm going to tap on them. My list of pages is going to appear. This page is going to appear. At the top, you can see OCT iBubble. There's another OCT iBubble at the bottom. That is where pages are usually listed. So on this particular account, I have only one page. On that, you see. But if you have more than one page, if you scroll down a little bit, can you see there's an option here called pages? I can also tap on it. And then my only page will also come up. You can see it, your pages, OCT iBubble. So I will tap on it. So right now I am on my page. So all I have to do uh, right now is at the top. Can you see I'm scrolling? I'm scrolling. I can scroll to the left, to the right. At the top, just beneath the OCT iBubble, you have overview, resources, ads, inbox, notification. So I can. I can scroll now i will swipe left until i see this more the last option there is more so i will tap on more and this page will pop up now i'm going for settings i will scroll a little bit for me to see settings can you see settings there at the bottom so i will tap on settings so once i tap on testing this page will come up and i can see page rules and i tap on page rules now this page allows me to add a manager admin on this particular uh, page. So I will tap on add person to page. Now it's going to ask me to type the name of the person I want to add to the page. And then I will just search for INE Jenny White, the person I wanted to add. Please take note. Take note, this is very, very important. If the person is not your friend, your friend on your main Facebook account that is attached to this page, you cannot add the person. The person's name will not come up. Please take note. So I've tapped on, on the person I want to add, and there are different options. See, I can add the person as admin, I can add the person as editor, but you advise not to add the person as admin. Because if you advise, add the person as admin, the person now has the right to also remove you from being the original manager of the page. So you can add as editor, moderator, advertiser, analyst. Recommended one is editor. Add the person as editor. The person can do everything your page except having admin power. So the next thing I will do is tap on add. Can you see add beneath the blue button? So when I tap on add, it might ask for my password to confirm. Okay, for this particular account, it didn't ask my password, so it added the person immediately. Now, it says pending people. So it means that INE Jenny White has to accept from her own end or from his own end before he or she will be finally confirmed as an admin to this way. But the request will be sent to the person and to show in the notification area of the person's facebook page thank you very much for joining me this is abram from white abram tech and i have successfully taught you how you can add a manager and admin to your facebook page using your mobile devices this is the part two of this video if you don't understand this one i suggest you watch the part one so your device must have the settings of either the part one video or the settings as shown in the part two video cheers and have a great time